For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. After being ruled by a non-elected government for almost a year, Bolivia is set to have elections on October 18th. These are the first elections that will be held since former President Evo Morales was ousted in a coup on November 10th last year. A US-backed government with Jimmy Nanez as interim president was installed in place of Morales' administration. In the upcoming elections, Luis Arce is contending for the post of president from Movement Towards Socialism, or MAS, which is the party of Morales. His main opponent is Carlos Misa from the center-right civic community, followed by Luis Fernando Camacho from the We Believe Party. Shi Hyun Chung from Front for Victory and Filasiano Mamani from Bolivian National Action Party are also contending for the presidency. Most opinion polls, however, have declared Arce as the favorite and likely to win in the first round of polling. Because of his popularity, many of his opponents have dropped from the race so that votes can consolidate behind the more popular right-wing candidates. This includes Jidi Nanez, who pulled out of the race in September. Despite what opinion polls suggest about Arce's popularity, the Bolivian right will not let MAS get elected again so easily. Anes and the oligarchy whose interests her administration represents is unwilling to relinquish power and allow for the return of democracy. Elections have been postponed multiple times and there has even been an attempt to annul the legal status of MAS in order to ban it from participating in the upcoming elections. This appeal made by far-right Senator Carmen Eva Gonzalez was rejected by a Bolivian court. However, fears of interference in the election process are still strong. In the past few weeks, far-right paramilitary groups have carried out violent attacks against MAS supporters in different parts of the country. Luis Arce wrote in a statement, Recent statements by de facto government authorities show that they won't give up on their attempts to obstruct the electoral process, to try to generate fear and are now threatening the use of military force. I repeat, what other provocations are they willing to generate to derail the elections? Arce has issued a call to the international community to observe the electoral process and the days following the elections in order to monitor the activities of the Bolivian right. The people of Bolivia fear that the ruling party will make use of all kinds of dirty tricks in order to steal the election from them, including blackouts during the counting of votes. Moreover, the ballots will be guarded by the same armed forces that supported the coup. Five of the largest international missions that have been approved for election observation by Bolivian authorities include the European Union, the Carter Center, the Inter-American Union of Electoral Organizations, the Association of Electoral Organizations of South America, and the Organization of American States or the OAS. It was the OAS and the EU which contributed significantly in the unleashing of the coup in Bolivia last year. Political scientists from the US closely studied the allegations of fraud in the elections made by OAS last year. They concluded that there was no fraud. Despite various flaws in the report from last year, the OAS has been given accreditation for observing the elections. Meanwhile, progressive observers, including elected lawmakers such as Jeremy Corbyn, faced many difficulties before getting accredited. Solidarity activists who have applied for observer status are also facing many hurdles. The people of Bolivia are prepared to take to the streets in case of any interference in the election process. Social movements and trade unions associated with the MAS have announced that they will mobilize if there is an electoral fraud. Así como dijo los hermanos Orlando, estando sin puerto intermedio a nivel nacional, hermanos y hermanas, cualquier momento, si provocan alguna irregularidad, levantamos el puerto intermedio y el pueblo boliviano en las calles, pues recuperará el poder. ¿Quién canta?